Yeah, enough talk here with A Leaf Ali, boxer man. We're just gonna give y'all some, you know, details, boxing life, his story, <laughs> becoming a boxer, and all etc. But yeah, let them know where you from though. Man, A Leaf Texas, man. We out of A Leaf Texas. Yeah. Like what? What? How long you been boxing? I've been. I started boxing. I had. I had went to jail in 2015. I had did like six months. And then when I got out of jail in 2016, I started boxing amateur. Yeah. And I was like on and off, like getting in trouble with boxing amateur. Yeah. 2016 to 2019, and in 2019 I turned pro. So yeah. I've been boxing like a little bit over three years. I just okay. I really just started boxing. Yeah. Started I ain't been your, boxing that long. It just started like getting in the ring. Getting in the ring, like seriously, like yeah, taking it serious. I've been taking it serious for like like a little over a year. Okay, but still. Yeah. So what made what influence you? You know what I'm saying? Then to being in boxing, what made you choose this path? I mean, growing like, first of all, my household, you couldn't be no punk. And growing up at Ailey, we naturally getting on the gloves and, yeah. was, and squabbling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then like me and my dad, we used to watch boxing, but you know we ain't got no boxing gyms at Ailey, so I ain't know how yeah. to get into boxing. I, I play basketball and I play football, but one of my bros, he was in the army and he had got into boxing. And at the time, I wasn't doing I wasn't doing nothing. Like I was just in the streets. When he when he got out the army, he was like, "I'm a, I'm gonna start training you just yeah. on some random shit." Just like you, you want to mess with it, so he started training me. And he was like, "Bro, you cold? You need to go to a boxing gym." Yeah. So I went to a boxing gym and it just took off after that. I just I fell in love with it. and I just stayed down with it and I'm here now. Oh yeah, that's still right there. Sure. For real. Like what what league and class you in now? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the uh, junior middleweight, super welterweight. I'm in uh, 154 pound division. Okay, so super welterweight yeah. in the league is. What you mean? Like saying how you said you was in a, a beginning league or what you? Said? No, no, I'm professional now. I was okay. amateur at first. Amateur, I, that's yeah, what I yeah, mean. I was amateur at first, but now I'm pro. I'm two and zero. I'm pro two and zero. Pro two and zero. Yeah, man. super welterweight. Super welterweight. Yeah. Okay. It's still, you got the fight in March. Yeah, March 14th, man. March we like 14th. a little under three weeks away, man. I'm anxious, man. It'd yeah. be like, it'd be like, it feel like it's taking forever. Like, when, the camp be going by fast, but then when you get to them last two weeks and you got to cut weight and make weight and you just fight taking forever, you just anxious. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm about to, you know, bring on the victory. Yeah, I has, yeah, because your last fight, you got a victory, huh? Yeah, 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 for sure. My last two, yeah. Yeah. I'm going for the KO this fight, so. Okay, man, that's what's up all the way. Yeah, I had saw you had the the walk in the intro. You had Daisy on the last one. Yeah, yeah, hey, and Daisy bring me out. That's, I mean, that was dope because like we both we both from the same neighborhood. Exactly. We both from ninety seven hundred, and he doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. It was just only right for us to, you know, so I remember like, I'm a little older than Daisy. I just we remember yeah, each other from man. the neighborhood. It's like it's only right we had to make it happen. And he ain't never really just been to a professional yeah. uh, a boxing event, so it was dope for him too on his you know, on his behalf. You know, he was like, man, he, he appreciated that shit was live. So yeah, that was a good look for A Leaf. That shit, I think yeah, that was like cool. Around. You know what I'm saying? That shit live on both of y'all ends and for A Leaf. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, what's your boxing goals? Like, where you trying to lead to? You trying to be legendary? I'm gonna be, be Floyd Rich. <laughs> and I ain't trying. I mean, I don't gotta be Floyd Rich. Give me ten percent of what Floyd got. I'm good. Yeah. But now I'm, I'm for sure be a world champion. And you know, with that, that come money. So I'm, I, I'm gonna be a millionaire in boxing because I'm gonna be a world champion. Heck yeah. So you know, right now that's what I'm just doing. I'm, I'm knocking these dudes out the way until I become, you know, world contender, world champion. Okay, that's yeah, still, so. bro. That's still right there. So yo, top three favorite boxers of all time? Yeah. Uh, damn. All time, I got. I'm gonna go two old school first. I'm gonna, uh, Muhammad Ali and uh, Pernell Whitaker. And then I'm gonna just throw one in like. Right now, one of my favorite boxers, like, well, my favorite boxer right now is Errol Spence. Okay. Yeah. Errol Spence. Yeah. I, I gotta put Asher. I gotta. I gotta put Floyd in there too. I, yeah. I know you said I got You automatically <laughs> gotta throw Floyd, but I, Ali, that's my all-time favorite. It's a fighter named Pernell Whitaker, and then got Floyd and Errol Spence. Okay, that's what's up right there now. So, what's your ask your uh, Texas question or whatever? What's your what you like dislike about Texas? Man. What I like about Texas, I just love, I love the South, period. Yeah. Like, I just love the South, I love the South. What I dislike about Texas, uh, probably the weather, man. The weather just too random. <laughs> this is why I ask everybody this, because everybody say the same yeah. thing, bro. <laughs> that could be the only thing. It ain't too many things I don't dislike about Texas. That's probably like the only thing. Oh, God, weather. that is the, the weather, only the thing weather, that I'd have been like everywhere, bro. Like my mama, she from New Jersey. Okay. So I've been on the East Coast. I've been to Cali. 
plenty of times, you know what I'm saying? All them places is cool, but ain't no place like home. Like, ain't no all place right. like Texas. Like, all, all right. them other places cool. I love California. It's like a cool place to visit mm -hmm. or something. But ain't nothing like Texas, like nothing yeah. like H-Town, man. Yeah. But yeah, everybody say the same. Yeah, <laughs> weather, hey, that's the only dislike really the weather out here. Sometime, man, man, for real, you cannot right. stay in one type of unit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta God, change it up though. But yeah, like what you think on um, you can, what school you went to? I went to Hastings. Hastings, yeah, yeah. you graduated from there, huh? Yeah, I, graduated from yeah Hastings. I went to Hastings also, and then the uh, the Charlos twins went to Hastings too. Yeah, that's dope. That's crazy. Yeah, see, it's it's crazy. Cause shout out to the Charlo twins. At the time, like people knew who they was, but like it's like the city, like or like Ailey, like I said, we ain't had no boxing gym. They wasn't like really hip to it. Oh, it's like, but not everybody hip to boxing. Yeah. So you know, so like a lot of people know who I am because they hip to it. But everybody like Charlo twins, they for sure like they doing it like they. Yeah. They big uh, motivation. They doing it right now. They holding it down like the twins. They doing it. But that's who I started with, Jamel. Okay. You know what I started with Jamel at his gym. Shout out to him. Bro showed me a lot. I learned how to be like the work ethic. Yeah. I learned I learned championship work ethic early because I was training right next to him. So shout out to Jamel. Man. Yeah, they on their journey for yeah, real. Yeah, and back then, like how you said, it, it wasn't no boxing gym or nothing. Like boxing wasn't just the main yeah. known hood sport, you could say. Exactly. And Ain't nobody, yeah, nobody. Yeah, know about boxing like that in Ailey. I remember in, like, at lunch, like, you know, because they was like, I think a year or two years yeah, above me. Yeah. And I remember at lunch seeing them or whatever, people were like, oh, they boxed. Box, they yeah. was like, doing this and that week. Yeah. Man, you know, we ain't believing it until we saw it. <laughs> yeah. Like, they not knowing about boxing. We, we ain't had no boxing. Ain't no boxing exactly. Boxing. That's what I was like. When I saw you on the journey, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, but they dad, uh, Kevin Charlo, he's actually one of my coaches. Okay. Yeah. That's loud, dad a coach, so that's what it is. Hey, man, that's still baby yeah. all the way. Nah, for real. For real, for real, though. But yeah, though, where your fight gonna be in March? It's gonna be in Channel View. Oh, okay, Channel, Channel View. View yeah. March 14, then, like, the venue? Uh, I forget the name of the venue, but I'm, I'm, I'll send it to you. Okay. Hey, but I know it's in Channel, I know it's towards the east side. It's probably like 20 minutes from here. Okay. I know it's going towards the east side. And who you going against? I'm going against a guy, a, a Brian. He actually a veteran, like a, Brian, a dude from Brian, Texas. Okay. Yeah. But he yeah. going against me though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm from Smash. <laughs> he going oh God, against me. Bro. He just somebody in the way, you know what I'm saying? For real. Just that one barrel. Yeah. Push that out the way yeah, next one. Way. Yeah. But yeah, you yeah. give them your social sites and you know yeah. your where they can see. Follow you. me on Instagram, Ali underscore Ali91. Uh on Facebook, Ray to Live. That's yeah. about it. That's it right there. Okay, Facebook Ray. Ray to live. And then on Instagram. It's A Leaf underscore Ali91. Okay. You got some the other fights, like what are, how can they see your last two fights? Uh I think one of my fights, one of them may be on YouTube. Okay. And then like some of my highlights is on Instagram. But I, okay. I don't think only one of my fights is on YouTube. But I think both the highlights is on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. That's a bad dog, but shit. Man, be full, you know, look. Like sure. all that high hopes on your yeah, journey, man, bro. For, sure. for real, sure. nigga see it, nigga watching it. This just like how you say the third one, you got a lot of things to go, man. Yeah. It's real. just the beginning still, so yeah. it's going down. Like That's I, I wouldn't say it's the beginning, but you on your third, so it's really yeah. like, you know, past the beginning yeah. though, but you on the journey though. Nigga making that progress. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a big year though. I plan on taking off this year. Like right now, a lot of people, I'm buzzing right now in A-Leaf and like yeah. in little parts of Houston, but like by the end of this year, like everybody gonna know about me. Man, for yeah. real. For so, real. Yeah. 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 All the way facts here. GM, you know, GM, boxing GM, yeah. how the how the experience working with them and stuff. And it's good, man. They gave me my first opportunity and I'm here right now. They gave me my opportunity, so I can't thank them enough. GM boxing. They gave me my first fight. Them and LT Great Promotions. Yeah. I shine, man. Every time, like, every time we fight. We have it packed. Hey, wherever we fighting at, the whole A Leaf in there. We yeah. have it packed every show. So yeah. it's going down. The whole city been supporting me, so it's been good. Yeah, for real. Yeah. For real. For real support. All the way. So if, if okay, for the people that want to become boxers or whatever, how would they start? Or where would they like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are, how, they, mm. how can they get put on a GM? Man, you just got to come and sign up. Within like one or two days, you're going to know if this is something you want to do. Exactly. Boxing, boxing it, it takes so much work and sacrifice. Like I said, I done played basketball. I done played football up yeah. into college. Like boxing is just, it's different from every sport. Yeah. And it only depends on you. Yeah. It's a one man, ain't no ain't no excuse for nobody is up to you, but 
it's just so much sacrifice and so much hard work in boxing is you gonna know within a, one day or two days if you're gonna do this or not. Yeah, like how you said earlier, it's mentally like it's, it's a physical sport, but it's, it's really mental, mentally bro. working right. So many workouts you gotta do, so much stuff you can't eat. Hmm. Like before six, like I can't have sex before six before a fight. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a lot it's, of discipline. It's man. a lot of discipline, a lot of stuff that come with it. Like the the, the average person not willing to, you know, willing to give, give up, up mm-hmm. to see mm-hmm. go to the bigger picture. It's just so much stuff. Like, and then like a dude like me, I came from the streets. I came from drugs and all this type of stuff. I done mm-hmm. gave all it up to to do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a whole different type of discipline. You got to be mentally strong to do this sport. It's a different type of animal. Really and then and then we talking about fighting. Dudes don't even like losing in front of their partner, let alone thousands of people, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's serious, you know what I'm saying? It's a different, it's a whole different sport. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> it's different, yeah, different bro. bro. But yeah, man, like I say, we're gonna see, see the fight. We're gonna see you again soon, next fight, all of that, you know. For right. sure. Y'all boys looking to, looking to a bro. For real, March 14th. Going down. For real, and then some, way more. Facts. But yeah, man. It's enough talk for them boys. Not for real, boys. It's enough talk. <laughs>